hello and welcome to innovative studio this is shakil and uh, today i will uh, let you know how we can use the boost libraries in visionstudio.net boost libraries are basically emphasizes on the work uh, these are the widely useful with c++ broad spectrum application it is used across the board for the broad spectrum application and usable across the all type of application it supports so let's start how we can use these boost libraries you can see the boost libraries here uh, you need to download the boost library by using this uh, boost.org uh, website you will open this in browser and then i i will uh, show you this is the link where you download these libraries right now i have downloaded this boost library and you can download the zip as well as 7k 7z uh, format and other zip format so i have downloaded this one you can see here uh, this is uh, i have downloaded and uh, let i show you how we can integrate this uh, boost libraries in a visual studio uh, .net so here is our uh, Visual Studio .NET. You can create any application like this. I have created a C++ application, and uh, I will let you know how we can integrate these libraries in this application. Right-click on the project and select the properties um, uh, option in the pop-up menu, and you can see here. Uh, uh, the property page and uh, from this right link uh, configuration properties you will go to on c++ option and uh, after c++ you can see here is the journal option so in this journal option uh, so we uh, will select the option to add additional directories for this boost uh, user boost libraries so we have our option here to include the additional libraries top of the list you can, can see here and i will select here drop down button and uh, will edit from here and another window will be open additional include directories and uh, here is the new line you will click on that and there is a browser button is available here and you will select this one and will uh, uh, browse the path of these libraries so I have path here and uh, that I that I know you I have libraries here in R &D folder and see CPP and the look this is the boost 1.7.9.0 and I will select it and select the folder so you can see here we have selected these libraries path folder and will click OK this is uh, we have added these libraries and one more thing we need to do and uh, this we have added the additional directories in C++ now we have to set up this for the linker option as well go to this linker option select the journal button and same here you can see there are various options and uh, we will select this for to include the libraries so the number of option but in the additional this additional library you will select here this one and uh, drop down button is up here then add it and uh, same way additional libraries and uh, we will select the directory form here this is the browse button same way we will go to this one and uh, we will provide the path from here is the booth and we have to select the labs libs labs and uh, we will select it 
and select from here and then ok and after all in the end you will apply and uh, after that you will click ok before that you can see here there is some uh, errors is, uh, are appearing here due to the we was not included those libraries and right now we have been included let's we recompile the code and hopefully uh, these libraries will work for us and we have configured this so let's compile our application first clean it and uh, once it's clean we'll build it again so it's clean and uh, right now we will build it just wait for a few seconds and uh, hopefully it will be in process of build and uh, in few seconds we will complete it just few more second wait and uh, everything is will be ready